Chapter 3, Author's Note Stop blaming the story, perhaps okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know this or the lyrics for Good Charlotte. <laughs> on the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets, and then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnets on my Why arms. Fishnets? I straightened go because fishing. because fishnets equals equality in the society. Cutting that out, I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding, and I listened to some GC. I painted my what? It does. I've done it. I've done it before, and honestly, the only thing that really helped was reading a good Twilight book. Like it works wonders. You had no idea until you try it. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and little eyeliner. Author's note. A lot of beaucoup boys wear it, okay? Hi, Draco. I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony. <laughs> he said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 and flew to the uh, place with this concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at fr the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. And then insert the part where you sing. You Sang Joel. Call, I don't own the lyrics to that lie. song. So Joel is so freaking hot. So right. I said to Draco, then pointing at to him, pointing to him to as he sung, mom. filling the club with she his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked line. sad. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? Asked Draco sensitively, and he put his arm around me all protective. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary friggin' Duff. I friggin' hate her, I said disgustingly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. That night, went, the night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We then got okay. What? We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into. The Forbidden Forest! <laughs> Good, be scared. And stop.